okay we're gonna boot up with the snow leo 6.3 so this is three versions higher than what we already installed so we're just gonna boot from the cd we hit f12 it should boot f12 there she goes And we want to boot from CD. There she goes. Yeah, I love my I love my chameleon loader. And I did not type anything. I just let it boot. And we'll see if we get into the install menu. And we'll see what we will select to install Leopard Snow on the Toshiba L300. We uh, selected English for our main language. I'll do uh, the formatting real fast of the hard drive and then I'll get back to you. Okay, we're killing a working hacking Tosh. <laughs> Erasing it to start all over again with the even higher version. And we're doing this on the Toshiba L300. Super nice uh, dual core laptop. I didn't even know it was dual core. I was really lucky with it. I uh, I sold my L3700 making hacking Tosh. I sold it as a Windows machine, but I did put in the advertising that you know it was also like a perfect Mac, and showed the videos give them a link to the videos to see how that uh, and many people were like they wanted that machine just to you know to try it out and see if you know they could like uh, also uh, get the thing to run Leopard okay here we We must do this good because um, if we don't do it too good we will fail because we cannot deselect the system you see that so if we uh, have to do it again then we have to reformat the whole thing okay uh, we have the Acer BLN here um, yeah I don't know why but I'm gonna go for the Chameleon V2 so I'm gonna Turn that one off. Bootloader options. Bootloader options 32 bit boot. Graphics enabler. This option enables the injector in bootloader for VGA cards and work for various cards, especially using the RC5 pre and unval bootloader. An unvault root loader. Unvault, okay, and unvault boot loader, okay. I don't think we're gonna select anything there. USB, USB fix. What is this? EHC clear, USC reset. I'm not really sure about these two here, but I do gonna select. USB fix and let's see at uh, the patches um, some things are already installed there extra directory RTC RTC modified kernels Intel AMD Let's try this one. We take the Goops 
sleep enabler usb uuid i don't know what this is drivers let's check out the drivers main hardware sata ide um we just take the intel sata ide sound we take uh the fudu hda ps2 we take apple ps2 or fudu ps2 we take fudu ps2 this time okay now we go for the cpu power management and um only select one of them fudu p state works for most cpus okay we take that one A laptop hardware laptop hardware um we take the battery does this thing have a card reader i'm not sure if it has a card reader i'm not sure i don't see no card reader then it should be here somewhere what is this this is usb dvd okay we don't see no card reader so we will not select a card reader acpa terminal drive for some laptop computer schooling fan and temperature problems okay we just select that one we try it out vga it's the intel 3100 that's the video card so that's really cool of this thing you know the gmx here it is 3100 there you go gma okay the network that is a little problem the wireless is the real tech something but here we have some real techs how about if we select all of them at once i mean like a driver that is not in use it should not be we should not worry about that and i think um this thing also has a real tech we take both and then language transitions oh wait hold on broadcom oh no that is the oh yeah wait hold on no that is the drivers okay and we don't need no language transitions so huh? so what did we take we take real tech we took all we took real tech the wi-fi we took all of them maybe one of them will work or maybe the whole thing will block up and then i learned something acpi terminal 32 bit battery cpu power management fudu p state works for most cpus fudu ps2 for the keyboard and the mouse uh, fudu hda for sound intel sata ide for the the chipset or the drivers uh, sleep enabler goops kernel chameleon v2 rc4 okay let's pray there we go install Okay, it's installing, it's not asking uh, for uh, DVD checking, so we'll let it go. I'll be back after the installation. The installation is done. And now we will see if these selections I made were good enough to start up this um, Toshiba L300. We're doing this while having our dinner. <laughs> And uh, we have to hit restart there. There we go. Restart. And the uh, CD ROM should come out any second. Hmm. I know what some of you people say. You should take off your cap when you eat. 
Are you a Jew? Well, never know. <laughs> and this takes a second. Always very excited to see if this thing will boot up. There we go. We can take out the CD ROM. There we go. And now she's starting up. Mm -hmm. There she goes. She's coming on bootloader. Boot for me, baby. Let's see what will happen here. If the thing will boot up with the selections we made. At least... Uh, <laughs> it's not stocking up immediately. We might have a fair chance that uh, the thing will boot up with Snow Leo 6.3. And the coolest would be if I would really get like this welcome sound and, and this, you know, this box spinning and telling us congratulations with your new Mac, you know, that is always the coolest part. And the wheel is still spinning. I just love when it spins. As long as it doesn't keep spinning, then it's all good. Toshiba. And you can hear the fan, it's working real hard. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, look at that, look at that. It's booting up my friends. This is a real cool laptop. Look at that. Before you begin, blah blah, identifying your keyboard. The the the. What should I press? Uh, the shift here. Your keyboard cannot be identified. No problem. We want American keyboard because we are all Americans. And you can see the system installed. Huh? And I'm not sure if I have Wi-Fi and sound and all these things, but at least we got a uh, 6.3 running on this beautiful laptop. And I saw somewhere that somebody even installed Lion, but he had a problem with uh, with the Wi-Fi. Yeah, you see, we have no we have no Wi-Fi. You see, we have no Wi-Fi. Uh, we have no Wi-Fi. Okay, I will fill in these things real fast and see if we have sound. And uh, okay, it's installed, but uh, as you can see, we have no sound. Sound is not working. Everything else works though. And let me see about this Mac. 10.6.3. I think this is the i i Atkos S3. Install the X3100 drivers for the video, but that will still give me one resolution, I think. But it's still nice that the thing booted up and that it's running. Let's see if it can now take a USB disk. Is it working? Yes, the USB is working. So we fixed the USB. So I might get to fix the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna try to install the Apple sound kex for this thing. Okay, it's done. And uh, Toshiba 
the L300 and uh, it's really easy to update just go to apple.com and download the packages called Mac OS 6 update 10.6.4 you know the 10.6.5 and continue until the 10.6.67 and I think the age should be somewhere as well if not just download it or it will update itself and then you will have 10.6.8 snow okay I think this is really nice I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna keep the system because you know I have many Macs now too much Macs so I'm gonna delete this again thank you uh, for uh, you know enjoying the install till my next video and I say Keep building the hacking tosh.